Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay, and here's here's just an epic <clears throat> fail by one mom, and you almost feel bad for, and certainly the people that saw this happen felt worse for the mom because they didn't call the cops. Uh, she left her baby in the car with a note. Okay, <laughs> that said, uh, my mom's inside doing the shopping, call her if I need anything. And it listed the mom's cell phone number, and it said that, that the parents who saw the baby actually called the mom's cell phone number before they called 911 because they felt bad for her. And so my question is, I, I don't know, Do you feel, I kind of feel bad for the baby that that's his yeah, well, mom. Well, how old is the mom? It didn't say. It didn't say. Yeah, do we so, have any know, information about this mother, like where she's from, where does no. she live, how old is she? No, it was in New Zealand, but and it doesn't it doesn't say how old the the mom is or anything. And you know maybe she is young, but I don't know if that's an excuse to be so irresponsible. It's not. Well, I want to I want to go off on a tact here about young motherhood. At my granddaughter's school, have you heard about this? They take a burlap sacks and their assignment is to make a baby. And so they stuff the baby and they put a cap on it and they make button eyes and they do all of this. Now, for one week, they've got to carry that baby everywhere they go. These are eighth graders. These are girls. Yeah, they a carry lot of, I think baby, a lot of high schools and carry the baby everywhere now. they go. And then they've got to one night wake up at 1.30 in the morning mm -hmm. to feed the baby and call the teacher to let them know they're doing it. Well, what do they let them know about and riding stay in a away car till about and leaving four. them in a car? Well, do they teach them about that? I guess not. Yeah, I, a lot of schools have that program where they'll, they'll. Um, I know at my son's school, they, they had to like babysit an egg. Mm -hmm. And I guess yeah. the, the idea is if you drop it, it's, you know. But, my um, point was that it's a wonderful thing in, in the eighth grade to start letting young women know what is really involved in having a child. Because it's a huge responsibility. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a great thing. I didn't know about it, and I just thought it was wonderful. Would you have called the cops, or would you have called the mom's cell phone number? I would have called the cops. I would have called the cops first, too, yeah. I think I, I wonder, I'm curious to know how many people walked by that before, mm -hmm. like I want to know how long the baby was in the car, like how many people walked past that and were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that, and then just went inside to finish their And it's a tiny baby shopping. too, and what the parents who, who stopped were saying is that, you know, they understood how hard it was to get a baby to, to go well, to sleep. Well then why couldn't she carry the baby in her arms and go into the exactly. store? Right. Great That's question. a nut job. Yeah. And what is she trying to have the baby stolen? I know. That's a nutty one. I say, epic you know, fail, epic one fail of, for a mom. Here's one another of my one. girlfriends, she left her, she has a, a newborn, and she actually accidentally locked her baby in her back seat like a couple weeks ago. And she was, and I'm like, well, you're standing there watching her. Like, she's I not going to, I think she's not going to go that, anywhere. You know, and she's like, it's just terrifying to be apart from your baby and like separated by glass in a locked car. And yeah. I mean, but to think a woman did that voluntarily. That happened like, to and me wrote a note. Yeah. yeah.